Hello, this is Randall Lloyd. Welcome to part 5 of my user guide for the DAS 3D SuperSuit for Genesis. In previous parts, we discussed the material presets and the shaping presets. Today, we're going to discuss both of those combined. If you take your material preset and your shaping preset and put them both together, you're going to get what we call a complete preset. And that is the last folder here under um, uh, SuperSuit presets and if you go into one of these folders you're gonna see this what looks similar to what you saw in the material presets folder now the difference will be you'll either see a complete down here in, in the icon or you'll see at the top it'll say character my dogs causing me grief over here anyway uh, when you click on these, and I'll just uh, pick one of these just randomly here. Let's uh, maybe try, oh, I don't know, let's try Tech Knight. I'll uh, click on the Super Suit, and um, you can find these also under the uh, Smart Content under Characters. Okay, and once again, there are uh, guide icons here, informational icons, and it will tell you that these apply a shape and a surface and that they may take a long load time. Just like the material presets, uh, what takes a long time is switching out the shader surfaces on the hundreds of surfaces that are in the suit. So just keep that in mind. If it does take a while, I'll be skipping ahead here in the video. But let me just uh, uh, apply one of these, maybe maybe Viper. Let's uh, double click, because I know Viper goes pretty quick. So there is, it automatically applied the shape and the color. And if I render that real quick, it you can see it's got a lot of nice displacement and some other suit details there. It's kind of fun. All right, so let's get out of that one. And let's try, we will do Tech Knight here. Let's try this. And there it loaded up. And as you see, once again, it loaded both the shape and the color. And this one, you get a little bit better idea of what's going on because there's a a diffuse map in there, but if I render, there you go, you can see all the nifty things going on there with displacement. Alright, well I think it's pretty clear how this works, and uh, you can navigate through here and find the different complete settings that, that you can find and, and try those out, but don't forget you can always go back to uh, the Morphs channel and just find some other ones that you might want to play with and, and change the shape and have a, a grand old time. Find one that you might think is even better than the original. And have fun with that and I'll catch you back here on our next video when we'll be talking about surface shader presets. So until then, take care.